look at my nails y'all yes i did these nails at home so if y'all want to see how i did these nails and y'all stay tuned for this video yes i did these at home these are press-ons but before we get into that y'all go ahead and like this video support your girl go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already I hope y'all already subscribed if you hadn't go ahead and do that press that notification bell press it tip, tip, tip. press the notification bell that way you'll know when i'm gonna have a video and before, you know, after, I'm going to say after, after you finish this video, after you finish this video, go over to Bang a Plate Gang. Don't play. Bang a Plate Gang, go over there. We're doing a um, giveaway, 43-inch TV. We're doing a giveaway over there. So y'all go ahead over there after y'all finish this video. Y'all got to finish this video first, though. Then go over there and subscribe for a chance to win a 43-inch TV. And we'll be doing other giveaways, so y'all make sure y'all go over and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel and Brown Sugar to be um, entered to win. And, you know, watch a video, comment, and stuff like that. But anyway, you go over there or you go on this channel, you will see what the giveaway is about. And they'll tell you all the instructions of what you need to do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this nail video because, look. This is what they looking like. Like, y'all gonna be like, what? Those are press on? You did those at home real quick? Yes, I did these at home. I know y'all like why she move on hands like that, but that's how you feel when you get your nails done. You you feel like you want to just be moving your fingers around and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's go. Hi guys, today I am gonna be doing a video on doing my nails. Y'all not been trying to keep it cheap. I haven't been going to the nail salon and all that kind of stuff because like my nails been like messing up. And I wanted to try something different. So I've been like ordering nails. Um, and I got them in my shop and stuff. So I was like, I wanted to do some other nails. So it's this company called Sugar Scoop Beauty. This is them right here. Um, so they got nails that come in this package, like you know, the little envelope thing, the vanilla envelope. Um and um, I ordered four different types of nails, which I took it out of the package and just put it in here because I don't need y'all seeing all my information. So I'm gonna kind of show y'all, like I said, it came with this card. You go check them out. Um, and then they gave me little cards, I guess, to give out to people and stuff, you know. And then they gave me this little magnet that came um, in. And it came with this little yummy lips and so I got four different ones and they come in the little boxes like this now it came with this which um, it comes with the little glues in there and I guess they gave me a glue for each package that I got and this comes with four of those because I ordered four and it comes with the, the cleanser the nail cleanser four of those and it comes with the little pushback um, sticks to push your cuticles back so all of that stuff came in there and I got one for each um, each box that I bought. So I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one first. I'm going to show you the ones that I'm not putting on yet. So anyway, it comes like this. And you see their little name is on there. It comes with the little pullout, which is so cute. It comes out and it pulls out like that. It comes out the box. And then first thing you see is this. It comes with this little package. I'm going to show you the little package. The little package is like this. You open it up. And inside are extra nails. But inside the little box where this was laying on top of, it comes like this. Look at that. How cute. I already moved them around opening and stuff. So that's why they kind of, you know, moved around. But anyway, it's like this little sticky strip that you can take it off and you can put it back on. So. Um, that's what that looks like. So that's one pair. Put it back in the little box. Let's see, is this the one that I'm going to do? Okay. Here's another one. Oh, the name of that one was called Churros. I guess that's how you said Churros. I don't know. But anyway, this one right here I'm about to show you is called toaster strudel okay, pull this one out and of course it comes with the little extra nails in there but this is what this one looks like y'all oh my gosh it's cute right you see that so you can go on there and look for these 
if you like any of these so far. But I'm going to show you the ones that I'm going to do today last. Um, let's see, is it this one? I think. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to do today. So I'm going to show you these ones right here. These are the ones, it's called Marshmallow. Now these, I don't know if you can see that, Marshmallow. Marshmallow, um, and of course it comes with the little extra ones. Now these right here, I'm planning to wear to the wedding. So I'm going to be testing these out, not these, but the ones that I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to be testing those out to see how they work. And if they work good, then I'm going to use these for the wedding because for my brother's wedding, we have to wear all white. So I figure, why not marshmallow, you know, go with their theme, keep it white, keep it white. And then the one that I'm going to show you today is called Peach Frosting. Let's open it up. And of course, it comes with the little, little extra ones in the package. And then these are the ones that I'm doing today. Today is Easter. I don't know if you, you're probably going to see this video today after Easter or whatever. But anyway, these are going to be my Easter nails. So that's what we are looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to kind of show you different ways of doing everything. I'm going to try something different. I'm, you know, normally I use this glue right here, which is the the paint on glue that but um they sent me with some glue in here i'm actually not going to use that got my little tools here i'm gonna see what i'm gonna use out of theirs because the way i'm gonna do mine it should last longer but um i'm definitely gonna use these i'm gonna need only one of those say the other three for the for the other nails then of course I'm gonna use the pushback stick. Not gonna use they give us these two, the little stick on pieces that comes in there too. They gave me um four of them, one for each each box of nails that I got. Um, and then it comes with this, which you use one for each box. So I'm just gonna take off one and leave the other three for the other three nails. So, I guess I'll go ahead and file my nails down a little bit. But I'm going to turn the camera around once I actually start. I'm just going like, to file my nails down a little bit. I did kind of do them with the fingernail clipper. Let me see. I might just go on and cut them down all the way with the fingernail clipper because I don't want any nails there at all. So, I'm just clip them down a little bit. Then I'm going to file them as I clip them. So I'm going to change the position of the camera so that way you guys can see my actual nails instead of seeing it like this, you know. Let's clip them all down. My nails are finally starting to like get back hard because me getting them done and stuff, man, my nails were getting so flimsy. It was so flimsy. Like when they would grow out even a little bit, they would hurt. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go that route anymore. But since I've been wearing like these press-ons and stuff like that, I've been doing pretty good. So I don't know if it's like, you know, the place that I'm going because I start going somewhere different. And that's when I start having all these problems because I hadn't went to my regular person because she's going out of town. And you know, with the, the COVID and all that stuff, I'm not trying to go anywhere right now. But before all that happened and I, I was going to get my nails done, I went to somebody different. And like now my nails are like so flimsy. I don't know if it's something they did or I don't know. Because usually I go to them, let them put them on, let them take them off and everything. So I, I really can't tell you what it might have been, but... <clears throat> My nails don't usually be this flimsy. But anyway, that's what it looks like. My nails look so bad. But they starting to look better. And I'm going to just file them down a little bit. Now, the technique that I'm going to use is you can take an actual file and like go across your nails and do it like that. But I'm going to take actual a drill. If you want to know where you can get a drill from, I'll have it 
and my shop. My shop information will be down in the description bar. You can get all that stuff from there. So, did that part. I'm going to go ahead and get out my drill. Got a whole bag of stuff in here. Um, which drill. Let's see. Little drill bits and everything in there. Oh, I'll put this in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and then I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna rough the nail up a little bit. Just kind of get it to. What sticks better? Everybody's saying it sticks better when you kind of rough the nail up. So if you don't have one of these, you just kind of take a fingernail file or one of these and kind of rough it up like that. But I just want to get this done a little bit faster. So I'm going to show y'all different ways of being able to do this. And then also just to get like all the oils off and stuff to kind of help. You don't want it too smooth because you want to be able to have it hold. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this one hand. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay, so now the nails, you want to do the same thing. You want to rough the inside of those up, too. You want to kind of push the cuticle back. Y'all know I always forget this part. I don't know what's my problem. I always forget to push my cuticle back. That's a very important step. I probably should have pushed the cuticle back before I actually did the other part, but I think we should be good. Because this should last, they say, for three weeks. But I actually don't need it to last that long, so I may end up having to soak these off because I only need them for two weeks. Okay, so we're going to take... This little thing, I guess this one, this one or this one. Either way, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on here. But this one, you just pull it out. My other one I had, you had to like push and hold something to get it out. Okay, so now you're gonna take inside of the nail, I'm gonna turn this on, you don't wanna turn it on too high. It down so okay I'm gonna take the inside of the nail you want to rough that up a little bit too so that way to get a hold a little bit better because you want to get that shine off of there so like it's a shine in there and you want to kind of get that shine out just a little bit like that Cause it's gonna help it hold on a little bit better. So I'm gonna do each one of these like that. See the shine? Well, I don't know if you can see it. See that shine on there? You wanna kinda get that out of there. And it'll stay on a little bit better. So. Okay, so. Go ahead and do this, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of it. 
so that way you guys can see. Okay, so now we want to take one of these nail cleansers. Um, let's see. Mm, alcohol prep. This is what came with the nails. These is the ones I usually use here, but it's the same thing as alcohol. Okay, let's see if it's good and wet. Okay, it's good and wet. So, can use that. We're going to have to actually use a different one for the other hand because it's going to be dry by the time I get ready to use it for the other hand. Okay, so let's wipe them all off real good. Put this in there. Get it out of the way. Don't want that alcohol rubbing or touching that. Okay. Can we let it dry? This is supposed to allow it to stay on longer. Base coat is what I'm supposed to be using. See that? So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my nail first. I'm going to move some of this stuff out the way. Oh, it's a little tight. Hold on. Let me open it. Yeah, I hadn't used this one yet. Uh, I think this is the one I used before. Yeah, it's open. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint each one of my nails. So I'm going to just put that on. Don't want to put too much. Put that on each one of my fingers. Well, fingernails, should I say. that on there yeah I am not a painter that's another reason why I need this stuff because I'm not a painter I um I don't paint no nails because if I could paint nails I definitely would just like paint my own nails and be done with it but anyway that's what it looks like and I'm gonna put it under the lamp for 90 seconds let it cure a little bit okay so let's see is it dry okay do it okay so you're gonna go ahead and do the part with the nails okay so you're gonna take this and put it in the inside normally I put it on my nail but because I did a little base coat thing I'm just going to put this on the inside. People say it lasts longer that way. And then you put it on and like press it down. Say you want to get it up under the nail, nail bed just a little bit. And this is the part I don't do very good. I don't hold it down long enough. They say you're supposed to hold it down for a long period of time so that way it can get all the little bubbles out and all of that stuff. Usually I just put it on and keep it moving. But a lot of times, like, when I do that, I'm not worried about it because I only want to keep it on for, like, two weeks. My nails, the way I've been doing it, have been lasting me for two weeks. So, that's that one. Let's keep going with it. So, you see how I, I roughed the inside up? So, using that method to rough it up in the inside... Along with putting the glue in the inside of here, along with putting a base coat on my nails and cure it first, supposed to make it last longer. So I may end up having to actually, actually soak mine off because I'm going to need to change my nails soon. But I just want to see if it's going to last without me having to reapply any nails or do anything like that. I guess I can come back and do a video telling y'all if it worked or what happened but you'll really see the real deal when I wear my wedding nails those are gonna be the ones that's gonna be most important so that's why I want to wear these first to see how long they last and if these last a good time then I definitely should be good with my um 
my wedding nails. Like I'm really loving this color. So now it's making me want to go to the actual store and um get me some some pink clothes. Like I love like a pink color, but I never like have any clothes that are actually pink, which is crazy. But I love pink and purple, but I don't have many clothes that are pink and purple. Pink or purple, should I say. Push it up under the nail bed and you need to make sure that they're not crooked because I've done that plenty of times. Put a nail on and be like, shoot. And then got to soak it off or try to figure out how to get it off before it dries or all of that kind of stuff. Now, that's the worst thing you can ever do. Because it'll happen. You put them on there and they'll be crooked and you're like, man. But see, like this shape, I kind of like the shape, but you know I got to go in and kind of touch the ends up and um probably when i go back to work i might have to cut them down some so we're gonna see how that works because i do a lot of type i could type with these on but you know certain places you just don't want to wear certain things or certain lengths of nails like the color is pretty good but like the length might be a lot so i'm probably gonna have to cut that down some but we'll see Make sure you get enough of it on there, not too much. You don't want it squishing all out. You don't want it to be too dry either, and then it don't hold. Push it up under the nail bed. Get that straight. Make sure it's straight. Looking at it. My darn fingers are crooked. When I get to this other hand, y'all going to see that crooked finger. My pointer finger, index finger, whatever you want to call it. It's like crooked, crooked, crooked. I'm going to show y'all in just a minute. So like when I be get my nails done, they be having a hard time with doing my nails. I'm liking these. I like how the light is shining off of them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like it's like a pink, purple, like a, a silver like in there. But look, look at it now. I mean, look at that finger. See it? It's cricket. So they have a hard time putting nails on me. And when they get to cutting them and stuff, it be crooked a lot of times because how my nail, how my finger is. So to have like press on nails, this makes it so much easier for me. Because all I got to do is know how to position my hand when I'm doing it. And I ain't got to worry about nothing. And then I like to like really cut my nails down too because I don't want the nail to like to be seen up under there. So that's another reason why they could just look cleaner like that, you know, with nothing up under it. So now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to cut these. Am I going to file these down or what I'm going to do? I don't know yet, y'all. Y'all need to help me out. I need to clear some of this stuff out of my camera too because like I'm um, I don't have a lot of space left. But anyway, this is what we're looking like. I'm going to go ahead and put it under here under the lamp for a while. Some people take this top coat right here and they put it on their nails, but I'm like the way they come is the way I want them. I bought them like that for a reason. But you can take and put top coat on it and cure it up under the lamp and you know, it looks nice. It looks nice and shiny, but that's not what I'm going for. I mean, these are shiny already, but I'm saying I'm not, I don't need no extra. Some people say they put that on there too, so the nail can be a little bit thicker. I'm fine with the way they are. Really liking the way they look. Like you might have went and got your nails done. and You know, so that's the look, look I'm going for. Like the other nails I do, I like those too, but they're like, you know, a little bit. See that? 
So this is what they're looking like. Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other nails and then I'm going to figure out like if I want to cut them, how I want to cut them, if I'm going to use a um if I'm going to use a um Oh shoot, using the wrong thing. If I'm going to use this to like cut them down, I'm going to use a file to kind of cut them down or I know I'm not going to clip them because I don't want to do that because I definitely don't want to mess them up or whatever. Let me pull this out. Get on to the next nails. Go ahead and do that. They feel nice and snug. You know something I thought about, y'all? I didn't even measure like the size of the nails, which I probably should have done. Um, Look like they're pretty good. I just used the ones they had in the box. But y'all make sure y'all size your nails and stuff because they they could be off if you didn't size them. You're just thinking they're right by what they have in the package. Because, of course, they don't know your nail size. So everybody got somewhat different nail sizes. Some people might have the same exact nail sizes, but you need to check to make sure which nails you need to use but like I said they come with extra nails in the thing like that's that's a good thing about this one too because it comes with different nails in the thing so you can try pick and choose which one you feel like is is better for you because like some of them come with just 10 in there and you just got to deal with what you got type thing but this one you can kind of go in if it's a little bit too small get a bigger size the bigger size is a little bit too big. You can kind of drill it down a little bit or file it down a little bit. Kind of get it the way you need it to be type thing. So I kind of like that. But the ones that they got up there, I just noticed they, they fit. Um, which I really didn't check that out. To see if it's the right size and everything. But it seems to be all of them fit that I put on. But y'all make sure y'all check before y'all go just putting them on. I guess I got a standard nail size. I guess I don't know. I don't know how they pick what's the standard. I guess what most people most people ask for, most people wear, maybe. Look like the majority wear this, so this is what we're gonna make it our main nails. Might be what it is. I don't know. But anyway. We got that done. Um, let's see if this dried up, y'all. See if it dried up. Oh no, it didn't dry up. What? Okay. Still got a lot of witness to it. I'm surprised. I guess they knew this right here might happen. Let's make sure we. Oh, that was smart. Let me push this back some. I don't know I don't be doing this. I have to make sure I do this all the time because this right here is very important. Especially to be able to get the nail to lay like it's supposed to. Yeah, I am in my room this time. Normally I do this in my office or I do this in my bathroom. I'm actually doing this beside my bed on my nightstand. See the little light that's coming out? That's from my little nightstand light. So I'm like right beside my bed. I just didn't feel like going in the bathroom to do this. Um, I just didn't. So I kind of just scooted over here to my nightstand, pulled my chair out, and kept it moving. Okay. Oh, shoot. Even if these nails last me a week, I'm good because I only need it for one day. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's the thing about this too. When you wear these press-ons, it's kind of cool because, you know, if you decide, oh, I want to wear them this amount of time, you can wear them this amount of time, or 
you decide oh I want to wear this color for this amount of time like now I'm doing this color right now then I, I plan to change it to the white I can wear this for how, however long I want to wear it and soak them off and take them off and do another color that's the thing about the press on it's like I want to be a different color every week I want to be a different color every other day or whatever you can put them on and take them off with you know you're going to get them done at the salon you're going to pay almost a hundred dollars to get them done and you want to go back in there and get them painted a different color they would be like oh twenty dollars like twenty dollars just get my darn nails painted are you serious and then you got to go get the touch up done and all that stuff you know it's it's a lot i just don't be having time for the nonsense like do my nails and let me come back in if I need to. If I got, like, you break a nail, they be trying to, oh, that's going to be $15. You be like, shoot, I was just in here two days ago. My nail broke. So y'all need to fix this for free. And I don't be wanting to fix it for free. Then you got to go off on somebody because, you know, you just paid all that money with them. And your nail broke that darn fast. Y'all ain't do something right. But then they want to say, well, we have to charge you something. No, you don't have to charge me nothing. You need to just redo this darn nail. And that'll be that. Like, you ain't getting paid for this. I don't know. I just don't be want to go through all that stuff. But I think these nails are very cute. Whoever came up with this idea, that was very smart. Like, paint the nails, sell them. You know what I'm saying? And Because then you ain't got to do all of that acrylic, all of that gel nail and all that. Just do the nail and sell them just like that. Let people buy them. Let me see. Make sure that nail is straight. Now the straight. Now this one I got to be careful on y'all, so I got to pay attention to this one. I can't be talking to y'all right now. Y'all gonna have me in here, all jacked up. Which I probably should put this nail on first before any other nail, because this is the crooked fingernail. You know, can't be messing this one up, honey. Okay, let me pay attention, y'all. Stop talking to me, y'all. I'll talk to y'all after this done. You see how I got quiet like that's really gonna make a difference? <laughs> but I'm telling you, this this figure is cricket. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm I'm really liking these nails already. Like I ain't even warm yet, and I'm like I'm just I mean just looking at them like these are some nice nails. These folk did their thing with this, honey. These folk did their thing with this. Like I said, this was smart. If I can do some nails, I definitely would do this. Like, I would do these nails like this. Make them. Sell them real cheap and keep it moving. Especially with, you know, this Rona going on. This is a smart way to go. Because if people ain't coming to your shop, you'd be like, well, I'll sell you some nails and you can just put them on yourself, you know. You got some people that's still not going to go. I don't care when this stuff is over. People, Some people still not wanting to go into shops and stuff. Because me personally, I don't like going to shops. Not with this Rona going on. Like, the shop that I had went in. While this Rona was going on, going on, they had like all kinds of stuff up there. They had shields up. You had to have a mask on. You had to buy a shield to go on, over your face along with your mask. They got a shield in between you and them. And they got a little cutout for you to put your hands through. Then they got a mask on. They got a shield on. And they got little, little uh, glass plates up around you. Like you step into the glass plate. And everybody else is in like glass plates. When you first walk in the door... You got to put that hand sanitizer on. Well, you got to wash your hand, then put the hand sanitizer on. Then they got to dry your hands off to make sure, you know, it's like, you see that nail? Like, the nail is straight. It's my fingernail. That's, I mean, my finger that's not straight. Let me look at these myself over here. So, this is what they looking like, y'all. So, um, I think I'm going to leave them like this, take a picture, put a little oil on it and stuff. Um, what is my oil? Cause like this right here didn't come with any oils and let me make sure before i be talking junk and it did let's see yeah 
Yeah, that only came with glue. So I'm gonna go get my little oils and I'll be back. I'm gonna clean up this little stuff so we can kind of look at the nails and stuff. Y'all really just let me do that. I supposed to cure this thing, y'all, before my nail be popping off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and clean my fingers off right quick. I'm, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and wash my hands too. And I'm gonna come back with the um kinda wipe these off and hopefully this will make them shine a little bit. Cause that's the thing about like putting on the base coat and then you touching it and it'd be all on your hands and stuff. But anyway. Yeah, I think this did help wiping it with this, this alcohol. Yeah, I feel like I did, so I feel like I, I actually like really did my nails, y'all. I'm telling y'all. This feels good to do this. But anyway, I'm going to go wash my hands right quick. And I'm going to come back with the oils and stuff. And I'm going to let y'all see what it looks like. What? You see? That's what it looks like. I'm let y'all see what it looks like with the oils and... um. I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'm gonna show y'all what it look like when I cut the ends. Okay, y'all, this is what I'm looking like. Like, I'm loving them. I don't know what y'all think or how y'all feel about it, but this is where it's at, y'all. Y'all go check them out. I'll leave the link down in the description bar. It's called Sugar Scoop Beauty, like I said. On Instagram, that's their name on Instagram, Sugar Scoop Beauty. And um, you can scan this if you want to. And it said tag us to be featured. So this is what we're looking like, y'all. I am loving these nails. Look at look at this. Nails done at home. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channels if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop. In my shop, you have like all the oils and all the stuff to do your nails. You have the top coat, the base coat. You have the files. You have the drill. You have the drill bits to go with it. All this stuff to do your nails, and a fingernail polish remover, um, the glue for your nails. Like I said, I use the brush on glue, base coat, top coat, the little uh, UV light. You have that too. All of that stuff will be in my shop. So y'all go check that out. Y'all go make sure y'all go over to Bang A Plate Gang, our new channel. We are doing a TV giveaway, y'all. A TV giveaway, a 43 inch TV giveaway. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to all three channels and that will be our channel for giveaways. We will be doing giveaways for that over there. Like I said, I try to do different stuff. That's, you know, our family channel. We do reviews over there. We do some cooking. We do some um, mukbangs. We do some reviews at restaurants. We also do a lot of eating over there, but it's just like a family channel. It's mainly about eating and reviews and stuff, but we'll be doing other stuff over there. But right now we're doing some giveaways. Y'all, we got to get our subscribers up. So y'all help your girl out, support your girl. Like I said, I'm loving these nails. I think I'm cute, y'all. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, be blessed. Y'all be safe out there.